Hey everyone, right now we are inside a cow enclosure. We just went over the cattle rack in the road, so now this whole area is just grazing land. I see tons and tons of tumbleweeds that haven't unrooted themselves yet. We're here checking out this culvert pipe. Check it out. It doesn't look like it runs often. We got a full day of rain yesterday and nothing flowing. It does look like it happens occasionally. A lot of the culverts around here don't have any evidence of water. This one does. But I can tell sometimes it rages through here, eroding. Because most of this ground around here is pretty sandy. Not really held together that well. But here we go inside the culvert. Got some hoof prints from cows. I don't know if you guys could hear that out there. There was some mooing happening. And there are footprints in here and a gigantic cow diarrhea joint in the pipe. It smells really bad in here. Hey, there's some water. Looks like the cow may have peed or maybe that's just from the rain last night. We got some cows right there. They have spotted me. Gonna leave those guys alone. These cows out here typically run away. They're not friendly at all. They don't have much contact with humans. They just graze out here until they're full grown. I just heard another cow mooing. Yeah, there's a bunch of them down here. They're not really interested in me. All right, we're continuing through the cow enclosure a bunch. And the plants around here are really cool. There's another cow. Oh, there's some cows in the road. Or on the edge of the road. Is this guy gonna let me pull up nice and close for a picture? No, he's running away. Oh well. There's another one up here in the road. cows. Let's see if this guy is gonna say hi to us. Wow, he's really close. Usually they run away. I don't have much for this guy to give him. Don't have anything a cow would want. Here's a smaller cow on the edge of the road. Oh, that one's darting like most of them typically do. That was kind of rare, that one that stood right next to the car for a while. And here's another culvert pipe, a really tiny one. Most cows do run away. You see, these pastures are really big and fast. Free range cattle. everyone that was the end of that cattle pen as you can see from the time lapse they have so much acreage there probably thousands of acres but now we're in another cattle pen they're allowed to walk across the road another really big cattle pen I think it's pretty cool around here all the scraggly pine trees grasslands it's because we're at such high elevation I believe at the moment we're about we're at about 4,000 feet, maybe a little bit higher. I know earlier we were at 4,600 feet at one point. We're really high above sea level. It's not that it doesn't rain a lot. It's not that it's more of a desert area. It's just that it's high elevation. Things have trouble growing here, except for grass. 
You can see the, mo the road is a little bit muddy. It just rained a lot yesterday. Tomorrow it'll probably be a dust storm again. Here we go into another cattle pen. Yes, it is. There's a cow. Wow, everyone, check out this awesome view. You can just see forever from here. All it is is cow pasture after cow pasture. This is such rural farmland. It looks like the tree line is ending now, and all these tiny little shrubs and tumbleweeds. It looks like they just abruptly end coming up. underneath it said it said something at large here's another cattle rack and it looks like we might have a pretty cool culvert here we're gonna pull over and take a look at this this one's got a little bit of water in it maybe just puddles we'll see about that it looks like it's actually trickling a little bit just pull over enough for a vehicle can pass now that we pass through that other cattle crate in the road it looks like now there's fences here so there might not be cows out and about but it looks like they might be allowed to use the culvert if a cow would even go in there Looks like a little bit of a landslide here happening next to the road. That could get bad eventually. Let's take a look at all that erosion. It looks pretty cool. Well, the water's really high. Yes, there is a good trickle here. Let's carefully look down inside the pipe. We are very high up. Take a look at this little beetle. That's one very, very high culvert to be like a 10-foot pipe. This area must get pretty big floods. Nice. Some good access. Got all these. This looks like chunks of concrete repurposed after a demolition of a building, reconcreted together to make a nice retaining wall. I'm going to be careful not to puncture my boots. There is some barbed wire here and some various poops. That's one big culvert. And check it out. That's pretty cool. Barn swallow nests. Whole ton of them. I've learned from other locations, it's not always the best idea for barn swallows to do it inside a smooth pipe. Because I have seen giant masses of them falling off. That's probably what that is. Bunch of them falling off. You see, there are a few of them missing that just lost touch. That probably wouldn't happen with the maintenance of the bird. This is really nice. The grass growing here, just inside the culvert. Beautiful. Look at that, that barn swallow made, it in, made a nest inside the damage of the culvert. You see the culvert is a little damaged, cracked open. Built a nest in there. This is very beautiful. All those barn swallow nests. I do not see any cows. We're gonna leave on this side of the culvert. 
Watch out for that barbed wire. More barbed wire. Barbed wire above me. Yep, pretty sharp. Just gotta carefully go between it without getting stuck. This is quite the hill. Gotta walk up it sideways, digging in like this. That always works out pretty well. Culvert. We found a culvert back here with some good flow. Most of the culverts we've been visiting around here haven't had any flow. A lot of cattle fields around here. Take a look at this giant pile of debris that they pulled out of this culvert, probably during a flash flood. Just a big flow of debris got plugged in here. We're not going to go down to this culvert. It doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, that barbed wire fence is all ruined. That's easy access. But what do we got? Oh, wow, there's a lot of fish in there. Yeah, let's go. Yep, barbed wire fence is missing. Yeah, I just saw a bunch of fish from up above, like a school of fish. It looks like it just went through the pipe. Maybe you can see them in there. It's a pretty cool culvert. Whoa, -ho, this mud is really deep. Look at all those stinky gas bubbles. Made the whole thing smell like a big sulfur fart. All right, we're not gonna walk through this whole thing because it's some mud, but wow, that's actually really, really cool. The amount of bubbles. Culverts back in the day were actually built like this with rivets. Other times they'd be reused, steam train boilers, other kind of machinery. They'd be repurposed as culverts whether it was a fuel tank, anything along those lines. But this was probably built just as a culvert. But then again, there is a hatch here for some reason, maybe repurposed. This is so much fun, this culvert, releasing all this gas. Very stinky. And those bubbles right there, actually, if you do put a lighter up to them, you can sometimes get a little poof. Just like if you're out on a frozen lake in the middle of winter, sometimes if you break some of the bubbles in the ice, you can also get a little poof out of them too. Let's go see if we have a lighter. All right, we got a lighter. Let's see if we can get a good steady flow of bubbles coming out of it. See if it'll light or not. Now the concentration of gas in here is not strong enough to cause a massive explosion. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that may have done it a little bit. Let's try again. Concentration might not be enough, but sometimes it'll work. Nah. Oh, you saw that? Oh. You saw it, did it a few times.
too much wind. I gotta be on the other side. Oh, did it again. Yeah, you gotta get the perfect big bubble. I just created some gas myself in here. Excuse me. Oh, another poof. I bet this would work a hundred times better if there wasn't a big draft in here that I'm having to block. Let me try to s crouch down and block a little bit. Well, at least I was able to show you that it is indeed flammable gas. I almost fell over into this gross mud. Very stinky mud. Oh, it's all over me too. I gotta splash off before I get back up to the vehicle. bunch of cows out there to the right. You can see that. Alright everyone, it looks like there's going to be another big culvert here. This might actually be the same stream we stopped at earlier. I'm just wrapping around again. Looks like there's a lot of erosion here. This is really nice. That stone wall they made as a buffer when this thing is gushing tons of water. So it looks like the cows, they don't really mind if the cow walks through it. Because I have seen it. Cows do use these as a way underneath the road. Yeah, this thing gushes sometimes. Look at the debris right in there. That's actually stuck on a fence. Yeah, it looks like there used to be a fence going across this thing, but storm surge just broke it and bent it all around. Look way in the distance. Deer. And further in the distance, a bunch of cows. Alright everyone, I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.